Hey everybody, I'm Wollerswold and the holiday season is finally upon us. So this is a great time to stack offers and earn tons of points for our purchases. And one of the best ways to do this is through Shopping Portal. So let's talk about how you can earn a ton of points with stacking just a few simple moves. But first, if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about credit cards, credit card rewards, and showing you how you can use your points and miles to travel for less. So that's something that interests you, consider subscribing and turning the bell notification on as well. Also, consider hitting that thumbs up button, it really does help the channel out. Now, as someone who doesn't do any gift card liquidation or reselling, I'm always trying to make the most of any of my purchases, and really, you should as well. And shopping portals play a big part of that. I even did a video a while back on how I earned 71,000 membership reward points on a single purchase. So portals are extremely important because they're gonna help you travel for less even quicker. Now let's first start off where you should start. Now there are a lot of different shopping portals out there and the earning rates are gonna vary from portal to portal. You have the Chase portal, airline specific portal, some hotel portals, cash back portals, the list goes on and on. So to quickly find the best portal, you need to go to Cashback Monitor. They aggregate all of the portals so you can quickly see the best portal payouts. And you can also see the historical portal offerings as well. So you can see if there's a pattern or a chance that you might score a better payout at certain times of the year. And this just makes things a lot easier because you don't need to waste your time going from portal to portal looking through so many different options. And you'll even see that portals like the Ultimate Reward Portal can vary depending on which credit card you have. Once you find the portal you want, you can just click on the link right from Cashback Monitor and it'll take you to that respective portal. Then you would shop normally as you would if you just went directly to that website. Now, one important thing to note is that you do need to have your cookies on. If you don't have cookies on or cookies blocked, then those sites can't track your purchase and then you're not going to get the portal payout. So be sure to have your cookies on if you are looking to use shopping portals. Now there are a ton of different portals out there, but the ones I typically stick to are the ones I find to be the most reliable. Those are Ebates, Ultimate Rewards, and Top Cash Back. And I've used other portals in the past that just weren't reliable, so I'll now forego an extra point or percentage points in cash back to use the ones I find to be reliable, because if a portal doesn't pay out, then it really doesn't matter what they're offering you. So how do you decide which credit card to use? Now, in addition to using a portal, we want to make sure that we're using the best credit card to earn the most rewards on that purchase, because this is how we really start to stack our offerings. And if you're unsure which credit card to use, I really recommend using a Word Wallet's Merchant Lookup Tool, because this will help guide you to how a particular store will code, and that'll help lead you to using the best credit card to earn the most rewards. And one thing to remember is with most portals is you can use whichever credit card you want. Even with the Chase portal, if you're using the Freedom portal and it's offering extra points and you have an American Express offer, you can use your American Express card after going through the Chase portal and you would not only earn Chase points for that purchase, but you'd also get to use your American Express offer stacking that savings and earning more points. And sometimes people think you just have to use the card associated with that particular portal and that's not necessarily true. Now let's talk about using a gift card. Buying a gift card can lead to more savings or more point earnings for you, but it might not always be the best option. Now there are some portals that will actually pay out when you buy a gift card, but I'm gonna put this under your miles may vary situation because many portals exclude these and will not pay out for gift card purchases. Personally, I've had really good luck with the Chase Ultimate Reward portals paying out when I do make gift card purchases utilizing that portal. And other options are to use your American Express offers or other offers like Chase offers to buy gift cards and save money on those gift card purchases. Then instead of using a credit card to make your purchase, you could buy a gift card through the portal. You would earn your portal rewards as well as your credit card rewards, or you could use the gift card you just bought at a discount using your American Express offer or Chase offer. Then you could take that gift card and go back through the portal to make your purchase. And this will just give you more earnings or more savings when you're shopping online and I do this all the time because it's just a great way to earn even more rewards or save even more money now something you do want to keep in mind about using a gift card for your purchase is that it's basically buying your items with cash so at that point you'd be foregoing the extra protection that your credit card could offer you so keep that in mind if you're looking to buy a high ticket item like a TV or a MacBook or some other computer, it might not be the best idea to buy with a bunch of gift cards unless you don't really care about the protections and are only looking for the rewards. But sometimes the extra protections are better than a couple extra points you might earn. So while talking about and explaining examples
examples is always great. I do like to give real world examples as well. And the other day I was shopping over at Dell and I'm a big fan of Dell, especially around the holiday time, shopping for electronics because they seem to have deal after deal. And there's a lot of great ways for us to stack these deals. And if you're in the market for a TV, which I feel like a lot of people are around the holiday time, I was searching over here just for fun and saw they are offering a 70 inch Vizio 4K television for $639. But now what initially catches my eye is the fact they're offering a $200 e-gift card as well. So this right off the top brings our net costs down to $439 and we can get this to be even better. Because one thing that's great about Dell, every, it seems time after time, American Express offers comes in and saves the day. And this is totally true right now. Because their uh, people's cards are showing 10% back up to $1,500 in rewards. And you can as well earn an additional membership reward point. So you're going to earn extra points as well. And we can make this even better as well. And we'll, we'll get to the math and the stacking of this at the end. But now remember, we want to search the shopping portals. And as I told you earlier, Cashback Monitor is your friend. Now from Cashback Monitor, you're going to search Dell. Now Dell actually has Dell and then Dell Consumer. I would search both of them because you never know which portal payout is going to be better. But I can just tell you, Dell Consumer is better in this situation where Ebates is offering 10% cash back or 10x membership reward points when you were to shop through their portal. And then what you'd want to do is hit shop now and that would take you to Dell and you could shop normally as you would. Now over here, when we get back over to Dell, you're going to see that 70 inch TV, we'll click on it. And then you're going to come down, you're going to see as well, Dell offers their own reward program. Now, if you're not financing through them, which you would not be, you would earn 3% cash back or 3% back on Dell purchases in the future. And Dell sells a lot of different items. They sell electronics, they sell headphones, noise canceling headphones from Bose, you know, different uh, smartwatches as well. So you have a lot of options to use these rewards app. When you start to stack these offerings for you, you start at $640. You get the $200 e-gift card. You're gonna get $64 in a credit statement back from American Express offers. The card I would be earning, I would actually just be earning 2X after I add that membership reward point, and then 10X in membership reward points as well. So I'd be earning essentially 12X back at Dell right now. That would give me 7,680 membership reward points, which I would value at about 1.5 cents per point, which would give me $115 in future value. Then on top of that, you're going to earn 3% back in Dell Rewards, which is roughly 20 bucks. And when you stack all of this together, it would bring your net cost to about 241 bucks for a 70 inch 4K television. Then if you wanna think about it even further, you could take that $200 e-gift card they're sending you, and you could go back in through the portal and earn 10X as well utilizing that, which if you did that just for fun, it would give you roughly $30 in value and that could potentially bring your net cost down to $211, which is roughly a 67% savings on this television by stacking these offers. Now let's take a look at using third-party apps. Now, not only can you use portals, but there are some third-party apps that'll pay out for certain retailers, and it can be an additional way to earn even more rewards. These include apps like Dosh and Even Drop. And with Dosh, you're gonna earn cash back. And the percentage of cash back is gonna depend based on the merchant. And with Drop, you're gonna earn drop points where you can redeem your rewards for gift cards like Amazon. And these are just a great way to further add rewards or savings to what you're earning. And to use these, you just need to link your cards to the program and you're good to go. It might not be a ton of rewards you're gonna earn from these third-party apps, but it does add up if you shop with these merchants frequently. So don't overlook these in addition to your credit cards and portals. See, shopping portals are some of the easiest ways to earn a ton of points. And when you start stacking these extra offers, the savings and earnings can really add up. And if you're not taking the extra couple of minutes to use portals, then I think you're really missing out on a lot of points. So tell me, how do shopping portals play into your earning strategy? Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in this video. If you want to help support the channel, a simple way would be using links on the website or in the description below. And until next time, safe travels and take care.